Hi Sagittarius, I'm Jennifer Angel with your January report, even though it's a little bit late in kicking off. Um, sorry about that, I've had a, a cold. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm susceptible to bronchitis and colds, but I'm over it now, so this is good news. Okay, so we've got Mars in your sign now. So this is fabulous because for you, um, Mars is a uh, uh, rules a fire sign, you're a fire sign, the energy sits nicely with you, so it's about getting organized, getting things done, life can be, you know, busier than usual, and you're going to have to work on priorities, so, you know, there's a good chance with, with Mars that you can't get everything done on your list, and um, <clears throat> you can't get everything done for everybody else who wants to also be on your list of things to do. So it really is a matter of priorities and it's not like you you can't do any of the things that you want but um, you may just have to reschedule and reschedule some other people as well and for instance not every phone call ping on your text um, or over your email needs to be uh, even looked at, dealt with, or responded to. So, you know, just because somebody sends you an unsolicited piece of mail doesn't mean to say that you have to do something about it. It's their hope, of course, that you will, but it's your choice whether you do. Um, <clears throat> so keep that in mind. Also, Uranus in your area of productivity for the next few years or so, um, uh, probably be about another five years is you know sort of bring changes up so although you want to get as organized as possible you also want to leave some flexibility in your schedule okay because when opportunities arise you want to go yeah um let's do that okay uh, so and to be able to do that then you need to have a little bit of flex flexibility sort of built into your schedule and of course the more organized you are you know the more flexibility you can have as well. Now, the, most of the energy is happening in the sign next to yours in Capricorn. Like Pluto, we have a Pluto Saturn um, <clears throat> connection, which is going to be a vibrational energy right through 2020 because it'll go retrograde backwards and forwards. So, more about that in the 2020 report. But this month on the 12th, there is the exact degree. Jupiter is also in this area if you chart the Sun and Mercury communication. Um, now for you, this is this is your money zone. It's a couple of different things. Broadly speaking, and mostly it's like your money zone. So do of work and the money that you bring in. Um, it's also your area of self-worth. So with this Saturn um, Pluto connection, it really, and with, and with your ruling planet,